Hey, this is Dan from MSS Enduralis. Welcome to the channel. You don't know anything about what's coming. And now to allergic reactions. Allergic reactions are reactions that your body have to um, snake bites, spider bites, um, ant bites. It can also be to products like soy products, monosodium glutinate or MSG or peanut oils. Allergic reactions can stem from trouble breathing, hives can break out, um, airways can start closing down. So in this scene, we're going to treat Lori here who's just been bitten by a, an ant and she's going to have an allergic reaction. Now when you approach somebody, you want to make sure that you identify yourself and tell them that you're a first responder and you can provide care. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to say, hi, my name is John. What's your name? Lori. It's Lori. Lori, what happened today? I was working in the yard and I'm highly allergic to fire ants. And did you get bit? Yes. So if she said that she got bit, if you can find out what sort of animal bit her or insect, it's a good idea to go ahead and note that so that you can tell um, first responders or medical personnel what's going on here. So Lori's been bit and we can see that she's starting to breathe really fast. So an allergic reaction, she could have shortness of breath, her heart rate can be picking up, she may have sweat. Um, building up around her brow hair and then if you notice right here that she's got these red blotches here in her in her neck and on her chest hair she's having difficulty breathing and these people that are having allerg allergic reactions may be leaning forward or leaning over something to help them breathe this is in one case where you don't want to really have somebody laying down because it makes more it makes it more difficult for them to breathe so Lori's having difficulty breathing we're definitely going to call 911 on this one. I'm going to send somebody to call 911 or I'm going to call 911 myself. And then I'm going to come back and treat Lori here. Now I want to know if she is on any medication. Some people are on what's called epinephrine or an EpiPen or injector should they have allergic reactions. So Lori, are you on any medication for this? Yes, I have Empress Perry EpiPen. Okay, and where is your EpiPen right now? It should be somewhere near Somewhere here. around here. So if you can get to that epinephrine pen, you want to grab that right away. And here's the EpiPen right now. This particular pen here injects epinephrine through the leg into the skin here. And the way this works is it's usually in a plastic case. And what you'll do is you'll unscrew the end of the plastic case. It could be yellow or orange. You'll drop the pen out and pull the back piece off. When you pull the back piece off, this will release that injector right there, and I can go ahead and inject this. Now, you want to make sure that your state and local laws will allow you to assist Lori in administering this medication. If you're not allowed to administer this medication, she's going to have to help herself. So if you can hand her this pen and have her administer it herself, you should do that. If your law allows you to do this, you may assist your victim in doing this. So the only thing I can do right now is put her in a position of comfort, sitting down so she can breathe like this. We've called 911, and I'm going to take this epinephrine pen, and I'm going to go ahead and inject epinephrine into her leg. When you push it in, it's going to click, and you want to hold that for about 5 to 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, pull the pen out. The needle will still be exposed. You want to put it back in the plastic case and screw the, the lid on there and make sure that that stays with Lori so that when she goes to the hospital, they know that she's had this epinephrine administered. Some people will actually need two injections of epinephrine. So some of these pins are, what call, are what's called double injectors in that you will be able to inject it once, pull it out, and inject again and give the second dose. It'll indicate that on the pin if that's what it is. All we can do now is help Lori breathe. If we have to loosen clothing around her neck, we can do that. Again, we want to make sure that she's away from danger, make sure she's away from the ants here, and that 911 has been called. As I said, other things that can cause allergic reactions are soy products, peanut oils, some bushes, 
um, fire ants, as, as in this case with Lori, and also bee stings as well. Now this medication, epinephrine, is a prescription-only drug. It's not something that you can purchase over the counter. So if you know that somebody has an allergic reaction, you want to make sure that they know that they can get this via a doctor's prescription. If you do not have epinephrine and someone like Lori is having an allergic reaction, an alternative to epinephrine may be Benadryl. We use liquid Benadryl because it absorbs in the body faster. Benadryl works because it's an antihistamine. And typically when people are having allergic reactions to plants or soy products or even latex products, they'll, ha they'll build up histamines and Benadryl will help that as a histamine blocker. But again, make sure that your state and local laws allow you to provide these medications to the victim.